Blog Talk Radio. Good evening, everyone. This is me, Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life After Happiness. Uh, today, I have my um, co-host, Barbara. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everybody. I'm looking forward to having callers and Dale. Yes. Dale Shear, our and, uh, world-renowned psychic. Hi, Dale. And Hi, Bob. Aww. Hey, Bob. So hey, Dale. Now, you, I know you had a hard day. I don't know if you want to talk about it on air. No, but no, 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 no. We don't want it's to air it. it. <laughs> no, no we're trying to change the I energy we, of it. I hope we can get your, you know, spirits up on on the show today. Yeah, uh, Johnny has to give out the phone number a couple of times so we can get some Yeah, because we do have in. one person waiting to call in. We do have one person waiting to call in. Uh, the number but is still. 808-516-531-9874. Barbara, you yes, do it. everybody it's call in to Life Laughter Happiness no, no. right now, 516-531-9874. Okay. Do you want yeah. me to put this person through? Okay. Sure. Uh, or we could, yeah, or Barbara and I could talk a, while, a bit about the retrograde, but I, we'll put this guy through and then we'll okay. go. Uh, 267. There you go. Okay. Hi, caller. Hi. You're on live now with psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Hello, thank you for taking my call. My name is Donna from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi, Donna. Um, I, hi. Um, I was wondering, what do you see um, about my love life in the future? Right now, I don't have one, but <laughs> join the group. It's called. <laughs> you know, somebody ought to write a book about all this coronavirus thing from 2020. Um, the uh, you're you're fussy. You're real picky on people, you know, men or relationships. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, it, it, it's rough. And it's also rough being in the coronavirus situation. Probably the only way to meet people is online. Have you done any of that? No, not really. I'm not really into it. Well, I just, I just, I got over a relationship the, the last three years. I, don't, I wouldn't even call it a relationship. I just finally got the, the guts to say, you know, you come back again, my door's not open. And and I mean it, and I'm standing strong. Okay, but that's past. I mean, and, right. and you have the tendency to break down, but every time they come back, you open the door again, and, and that's something that's got to stop. Yes. Yes. You know, because you're hurt by this person all the time. So, you know, let loose uh-huh. and let go. Just let go. You have two or three different men coming in later on. I don't know dates, times, or places because um, this virus thing is uh, crazy, so we don't know. Uh, How's it in Philadelphia on the virus? Excuse me? How is the coronavirus in Philadelphia? Oh, Philadelphia, well, um, the last I heard that Philadelphia is, is might be and end up getting closed down again because for some reason it's pretty pretty bad right now. It's like I work in a hospital, okay. um, but a little bit past Philadelphia. It's in the I hate to say it, Philly people don't hate me, but it's a the nicer area, um, and there's there's only like three three people left in, in the hospital with it and they're ready to go soon. But well, that's good. um the, that's we well, mean go okay. of leaving. You mean go oh, no, leaving. Leave okay. leaving and and um you know the the inner city uh it's you know it was pretty bad well, but I, it, it's I know Philly pretty well because I was born in Jersey and I had a lot of relatives in Philly. You know, but I was just like <laughs> God bless, God bless you for helping so many people. Um, you know, you, you you meet doctors down there, don't you, all the time? 
Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Don't you meet doctors all the time? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, um, I do housekeeping in there, and that's. I I feel bad because we don't get enough credit, and we we're the ones that go in there, and you know, but it's it's good. We, but yeah, we. I'm I, I'm kind. Of, I mean, a lot of people not, in there. You're not making. You're not making sense. You don't get enough credit for what? Oh, um, no, in in the hospital, um, you know, because we have to go in the room and and clean up, you know, clean up everything, and it's it's very, like, I, I get very nervous sometimes a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, I can imagine you would, but um, you know, unfortunately, in this mess that we're in. Uh, there's very few people that will do what you're doing, and I totally understand. I do not see you um, getting the virus at all, so that's good. And I do see you meeting men in the hospital or relationships there. But take your time because don't jump from one situation to another. You're doing a lot of good work to help people. So you really need to look at that and Make sure it's okay. Right. Well, I have a close friend that has been, I've known since I was, I'm 58, since I was like 13. And um, the attraction is not really there, but it, it seems, um, I, I don't know, it seems like it's coming through pretty good. It's not like, I don't know. So I don't. I think something might happen there. Um, hey, his name's a, Greg. Wait, what do you got? What do you got to lose at fifty-eight? Give it a chance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just give it a chance. All I know is you're doing a lot of good work. You're helping people. It's wonderful. God bless you. And just you know, keep doing it. And you know, and by right, um, everything's going to fall into place. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Well, we had some callers calling great. recently, so uh, do you want to take the oh, next great. one? Well, I'd like to give it a chance. Uh, I want to talk to Barb for a moment. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Move great. In moment. Move in a moment. And all right. It's, it's just Apparently. Fine. All this weird stuff that's going on now, I don't know for how many months. Have, do you have your computer, Barb, where you can look up to see if we're in a Mercury retrograde? Oh, I have my phone, which I can look things up, and that's what I'll do right now. But, yes, I do believe so. It is called Mercury retrograde, and crazy things are happening electronically around me. Well, that's what retrogrades do, usually, if it's. Um, a mercury one, it deals with paperwork, it deals with everything going wrong, you know, and you have to double check and triple check. And um, I don't have my iPad over here at the moment to to check it, I but I, all I know oh, is that. Oh what? I'm just Hello? trying to look it up to you on my phone and. Well, you want me to go take a call through. while you want me to take a call while you look it up? Sure. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Johnny. Uh, this is area code 402. Uh, 402, you are on the air. You're at Psychic Dale Shear. Hi. Um, oh, what's, what's hi, your name? I'm and this, where, this is Shear. I'm in New York. Okay, I'm not yeah, understanding no. you. What? What is your name? Let me ask okay. the questions. What is your name? Sharon. Sharon. And what city are you from? New York. Okay, got it. What part of New York? Uh, Queens. Okay, upstate. Yeah, okay, I know where that is very well. And uh, how's the coronavirus up there right now? I hear it's leveling off up there. No. Hmm. No. No? It sounds like there's kind of a surge in a lot of places. 
getting oh, bad yeah. again. Yeah. Yep. And what do you think? And and I'll go with you, you know, and, and answer your question a little bit. But what do you think that's contributing to it? I mean, I have my own feelings, but I mean, we're we're in in Europe, in Italy, they've almost eradicated it. And in Paris, they've opened yeah. up the Eiffel Tower. Did you know that, Barbara? Barbara? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I, but, sorry. I, you know, I am looking something up, and I wasn't even listening. What was the question? I'm sorry. They, they've opened up the Ivo Tower, and they've oh. opened up in Italy, but uh, they have very low, 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 low in Europe, very low virus in that area. But the thing with the Ivo Tower, which is, is hysterical, because I've been there about four times, is the fact that you got to climb the stairs to get in. They don't. They're not using the elevator. That's a good workout. I, I've been there too, but I didn't go up because I had a little baby in a stroller. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying the elevator is great, but they won't use it. So you have to climb 658 stairs to get, you know, to like one of the first floors of the Ivo Tower, you know. But I was just saying, other countries are leveling off because they're get, not getting crazy like uh, we have been. So, uh, man, what do you think? On the I think that is, yeah, I think that it's a lot of uh, younger people than they've seen before, and I think it's because everybody's just sick of being in and they're going out, mm-hmm. you know. They're yep. they're not taking the precautions yeah, that they were. Yeah, they're going. Uh, well, they're talking about Florida, Arizona, Texas. I didn't hear Philadelphia about sh- possibly resetting it down. You know, yeah. Uh, we're not, if we, we're just uh, if we, looking at phase two here. We're yeah. not open we, yet. So. In Nevada, we're looking, we are open. And what's terrible here, and, and I want to talk about this for a moment, is uh, in Tahoe. You uh, have the casinos open, partially, you know, 50%. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. No, this there's is, there's this is no another. way that they can keep it sanitized. There's no way. That's right. That's right. And then it gets worse. I mean, like, down in mm-hmm. Reno, they have the Grand Sierra. But they're letting the kids party at the pool because it's open air. Right. And the beaches, and I'm going, they're ignoring yeah. You know, and then half the people aren't wearing masks. It's just driving me nuts. I mean, it's to the point where. Well, it just depends on, you know, the leadership out of the White House is not doing what they should be doing. You That's know, correct. The only thing he cares about is money. So he just wants to pretend it doesn't exist anymore, I think. I got you. Okay, what can I do to help you, sweetie? Um, I've got some, I've had some kind of a group of people. It sounds crazy, but it's true. And you, you can probably see it. I'm hoping that I've been doing everything in their power to make my life hell and ruin my relationships and my life and the whole bit. And I'm wondering, um, are they going to be exposed? Is it going to stop? Okay. Well, let's be specific. What, what relationship are they ruining? ruining? Um, my family, my, uh, there was someone that I was um, involved with that I had to walk away from so they wouldn't get in, get affected by it. My, <laughs> my landlord, everything. So you're sharing things have been, that all lies have been said about me. Yeah, lies that are being said about me behind my back. And can you prove that at all? Yeah, some of it. But um, it's hard to pinpoint. I know this is going to sound stupid, but the only way to get rid of this situation is to move away from it. I just moved here. I oh, moved wonderful. away. And it just okay. came with, you know, because there's telephones and 
and unfortunately there's some um, legal well, you know, know this is not, unfortunately, this is not a matter that I can really go into on air. If you want to do okay. in-depth of it, you can't you know, see you can that anybody's call. been doing anything to me. And that I feel that some people, or anything. no, I feel some people have. But, I mean, we're talking about, um, I would have to do it in a private session. It's It's not something on air. It's not going to stop. Uh, I'll okay. be honest with Great. you. It won't stop. And you may have to move again and change phone numbers again and do stuff like that and really go in, you know, off the planet into seclusion, getting an RV, going in the middle of nowhere, then it won't happen anymore. Oh, my God. I can't wow. do that, obviously. In other, words, I, in other words, learn how to live with this, I guess. No, it's hard for her. You know, I mean, I, I is she really going to want to just do that? That's drastic. That's like isolation, like isolation yeah. worse than now. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> that was pretty good to me, I getting in an RV and know, get to, getting away from I, the world at the moment. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm there is one know place. There's one place I know of that's very beautiful. But there's a lot of paperwork involved, but there's no coronavirus, and that's in Aruba. So, you know, there's places on the planet that these people can't track you. So you're just going to have to really, are you really serious? look at it. Are, My uh, theory? Seriously, are you serious yes. that you're telling me this? I'm disabled. Yes. I don't have the money for an RV. I can't do anything. I'm t- no, 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 no. I'm joking. That part was joking. Your question was, are these people still attacking me? And I'm telling you that they are. But how to fix the problem, I really don't know. I don't have an answer. Right. Because they're crazy. So I don't know. But the army um, thing and all that. I don't know why, to be honest. Hmm? I don't know why. They're doing it. Maybe if I didn't lie, I could. All right. It's not something I can go into on on the the podcast right now. But I'm just going to say a lot of prayers for you and wish you the best and just hope that this ends, okay? Do you see anybody positive coming into my life? At the moment, I don't, okay, because of the virus. Not because of these people, just because of the virus. Okay. But I got to go back to Barbara now, but I thank you very much, okay, for calling. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay, Excellent. Dale, I have some information. And it continues, Barbara. My day continues. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And you it know is what I mean, all. Barbara? My, my day all. is continuing. Yes. I, <laughs> okay, what, I know. What's your point now? You know what? This Mercury retrograde affects all communication. I sent you, Johnny, and our Life, Laughter, Happiness group chat members a link to uh, everything about it. And it lasts from June 18th to July 12th. So it's not going to be too much too bad. That's not too bad. No. I think we don't die, and I'm making this as a joke. I mean, I'm going to have to clarify my Becky's humor from July 18th to, I mean, from now to July, what did you say? Till June July, 18th through the 12th. 12th. Well, that's not too bad. I think I've had no. the worst of it today. i <laughs> just like, oh, yeah. my God. I, I've had it but rough. But that was and interesting, I have... though, when you notice things. It's interesting, and then... You can look it up and, oh, wow, that's why that's happening. I mean, these planets, they're very powerful. When you're having a six-planetary, and I'm not an astrologer, but when you're having a six-planetary alignment or a nine-planetary alignment will create earthquakes throughout the world. That I know for a fact because all the planets line up and they have an earth pole and there will be earthquakes. And we have been getting earthquakes in Nevada which is rare. It's very rare, okay? Um, 
very strange. Uh, but the I always look at, is there a retrograde going on? If there is, I want to stay in my house and put my covers over my head. Yeah. And just stay there. Well, what you else know, is so to... wrong? I mean, it says communication, oh, so everybody thinks it's like technology, but other things, no. it doesn't even matter, can be affected. That, that is true. It's not just technology. It, it, I don't know how deep it goes. But all I know is the day I had today, I looked at it, this got to be a mercury retrograde. And then, you know, having to take someone to the hospital, it's just I don't even know what's going on there. It's weird. And I'm hoping everything's going to be okay because of the retrograde. But I see it. Yeah. I feel it will be. I feel it will be. Well, that's good. And I also sent it to your page on Facebook. So, hey, everybody, go check out Dale Shear on Facebook. She has a page there, and I put that retrograde mm-hmm. article on her her page right there. And then also you can call her after the show directly for for more time because on the show we don't have a lot of time for each person and like the caller, I think it was two callers ago, or you said that this was going to take time. And also you said it was somewhat confidential, that it was not for the air. So she can also reach yeah, you people, no, after the show. Well, they, they can if they want, but if she's on disability, there's nothing, you know, I feel bad for her. And uh, she's, uh, she, she's rightfully so, and people are against her. But I don't know where you can run to at the end of the world. I mean, how many places are there? I was I wasn't joking about Aruba. I'm saying there is no coronavirus in Aruba. I mean, you know, not that you could get there, but I'm just stating a fact. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It happens. People move to Aruba. You got to say what's on your mind might change your life. She might just do it, and it's great. Well, Florida, uh, Florida is not very far, I mean, you know, by plane to a river, but it's all this paperwork. And then now they're not allowing Americans to go to Europe in certain countries because our virus is going nuts. And the only right. way that this virus is going to mellow oh, down is, is when they find some sort of cure. That's it. That's it. And that's how people are going to finally feel comfortable. Like my dad, he's like, I just hope that they find a vaccine or a cure. I just cannot risk going out. I mean, he's older. And I think that's very smart of him to stay oh, in and be yeah, very it careful. Is, it is. Uh, it is. But I don't know if it's all of it. I mean, you got to live your life. I mean, I also believe. And I don't know if you believe this, but I believe that we manifest things. So we create things to happen. We truly do. And um, if you think about it too long, like, oh, I'm going to get the coronavirus, I'm going to get, guess what? You land at a place that has it. Like, I didn't even even tell you this. I I was going to drive through McDonald's today, and it says... uh, Closed for, um, I don't know, some weird thing. I mean, some mechanical issues or something. Well, everybody in town knows there was one person there that had the coronavirus. So that was the last time they closed. So obviously someone else. Yes. You know, and of course they don't want to let you know, you know, that type of thing. So Yeah, they don't want to advertise it. Yeah. So, I mean, that was another thing that happened today. I'm going, God, I'm just so mad. Is this going to just stop? And then I go, there's got to be a retrograde. And you I don't know. know. I mean, sometimes I just don't even want to listen to the news. I need a break from it. I was really obsessed well, with knowing every detail about it in the beginning. And now mm-hmm. I just don't even listen. But I still am very I'm careful. I'm the same way. I'll glance at it for about five minutes or so. Uh, I go to the swimming pool. You know, we have swimming pools and we have chlorine and we have all that stuff, you know, so that's safe. But um, the and they only allow like uh, 10 people in, in the pool area at one time and you have to distance yourself. That's you know, good, so. though. 10 is good. We're at five at our pool. 
But oh, guess I mean, what, I mean, they, they have they have five pools, so you, within the whole building, ten people. They only do ten yes. people at a time. Oh, but they opened they my gym that I love, a brand new gym at my place, mm-hmm. so I can work out again in a gym. Wear gloves, honey. Okay. When I you wear, you know, pl- the plastic gloves because you don't know who's touching all that stuff and then throw them away and sanitize. So it's okay yeah. to work out, I, but, you know, wear gloves. I feel like it's better at the apartment. It's brand new and nice than going to the actual gym with a lot of people there. I Yeah, that's for sure. Do you have enough stuff you can work out with? Oh, yeah, this place is decked out. It's amazing. I love it. And not many people are using it. Plus, they have a limit of how many people can go in there. I think that's perfect for me. Yeah, that is. That is very perfect for you. So Right out my door. Bed- is that a one-bedroom or a two-bedroom? Two. Oh, okay. Um, the, oh, it's uh, real nice. It, it's just like I don't even want to watch the news. Every morning for the last six months or however long it's that's all we're getting is the amount of coronavirus and then you know I have to agree with this woman what is the government doing about it are they doing anything you know like we have governors and our governor here is really good in Nevada and I know the one in New York is very good but um, the one here just like any sign of anything wrong he shuts it down very you know what I mean? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, but I tend to think my own feeling is that with the casinos, they're losing too many millions of dollars per day, and they're going to leave it open. What they want to do is that herd theory, herd theory which is, um, you know, let everybody die off that's supposed to, and whoever's left is left, you know? Yeah. Wow. Hey, well, Johnny's so quiet. What about Johnny's uh, family? How are, are they dealing with it? Are they still afraid of the corona? Really well, afraid you know, and they're really on, careful? Um, Sunday, we're going to be going to my um, nephew's birthday. And it's going to be interesting because this will be the first time we've seen everybody since the whole meltdown. And and um, they have to be real careful about a few things because one of my nephews, uh Alex, you have to be real careful that he doesn't see the car because if he sees the car, then he's going to want to have a spend the night and he's going to have a fit if he can't. And he's autistic, so you have to make sure that you you uh, oh. you know you relate to him in a certain way. And um, mm-hmm. so you know. Well, are you all going to wear masks and and you know distance yourselves and all that stuff? We're going to be distancing ourselves. I don't know about masks. But I do know that um, the um, you know it's it's we've Alex is just like the kind of person that will uh, I mean he he's real it's hard to control two autistic children I mean you know one is you know, one is liable to have fits for no reason and the other one says a lot of socially strange things you know yeah but it's just your family isn't it. Yes, so they all understand. Family. They all understand. Well, and yeah, I don't know, Barbara. And I just had this with Richard's family. His uh, he on his whatever uh, daughter-in-law's mother was eighty, so they invited the whole family. And I'm going, that's not right, man. I mean, you know, it's just you're gonna it's gonna be a problem. If you'll you'll see. You know, when you're in big crowds. This thing, I don't know. It just has a mind of its own. It just knows. I think you're really better not. off in the open. You're better off in the open air. I don't know about you guys, but out west here, they've canceled all July Fourth and everything. Have they done that where you are? I don't, I know. don't know. I don't know what. I, I know wonder if they're going to do the parade. I was in it last year. Yeah, we've I'm had sorry, lots of fireworks huh? at the beach. We've had lots of fireworks at the beach. I don't see that as being canceled. We have, I mean, we had fireworks on the beach a few days ago, so. Oh. Well, they yeah, but is that personal? 
personal. It's not the company. I, it's not the city who's doing it yet. You don't know what the city is doing. I really have no idea. I mean, all I know is, is that we watch fireworks. We do see them in, in the, the videotape. So, um, okay. Mm-hmm. I was in the parade I'm last year here in Huntington I'm Beach, watching. and I don't know if they're doing that again. I mean, I don't know uh, if it's canceled. Barbara, I'm just, you know, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm watching just the TV go by, and it says the reversals are, they're reversing, reopening. So, um. They are? Yes, yes. Right. Oh, so no. So, things that are. Yeah, things that are going to open are not going to open on certain areas. So, oh, my uh, gosh. I mean, I feel bad for that this is happening again, like there's another wave. It's it's really sad. Wow. It's the same wave. It's not a different one, they said. It's the same wave. It's just it's gotten stronger because people, they've let people out. Just like in Tahoe, uh, they've let them out, and you have all the tourists coming up. And you're going, you know, why are they doing this? Well, why they're doing this is really because of money. Probably because of mafia. Probably because they need the money. You know? That's why everyone want to gamble. Okay. You know, it's just, that's what I think. All right. Yes, are honey, you right? ready to take the caller? I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, area code eight five six. Hi, eight five six. You're on with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Oh, best is to be expected. <laughs> and and who am I speaking with? <laughs> uh, Rose and Maria. Hi, Maria. And how are uh, you? Where, where are you calling? New from? Jersey. What part? New Jersey, South Philly. I'm near South Philly. <laughs> South Jersey. Okay, give me the city in South Jersey or the exit. Uh, Cherry Hill. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Relatives there. It's a beautiful area. I was born in Newark. Um, lived in Hillside, Lakewood, all that area. And a lot of my relatives are in Cherry Hill. How you doing? What do you need to know? Uh, I have um, two job offers. One is trying to get me ready for two an interview or am I getting the one that's not communicating with me too much it's for the same company two different departments I don't know which one is which am I getting oh. or am I getting a different what? job um, okay what kind of work is it please um, engineering <laughs> IT okay you are definitely getting one of them you know that it feels like um, the first one, but uh, it doesn't matter. Whatever you get, whatever you get, you get because you're you're very intelligent, you're very smart, you're doing things the right way, and you're going to be hired. But don't you have to work from home? Um, no, not at the beginning. I'm not sure how they're going to work it. Yeah, that I know is there's that's a four day four day week. I'm I'm getting the hint. It's a four day week at week. Mm. And uh, you will definitely hear something within the next few weeks or less. Definitely. So um, it's a high, it's a high paying job, and it's good. Are you were you thinking about moving or buying a house? Yeah. Okay. What area? Uh, probably overseas. Can, can I go with you? <laughs> where about? Where, where I'm in it? Italy, south south of Italy. Oh yeah, Italy is just like uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, would, now it would, is. Would you, yeah, would you be able to work in Italy? Yes. I can work for the same okay. company that I'm getting, hopefully. I would suggest you do it because that is going to happen. Cool. So I would say lots of luck to you. I wish you well. And go for it. 
Well, hopefully I can move as soon as I can. I hope. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a couple months or. Well, or, time is not good for psychics. You know, we don't. We're not real good on time, and especially with cool. this Corona thing going on, we don't know. I mean, I'm looking at just at the TV as I speak with you, but I'm not. I don't have it on, and they're shutting down cool. Texas. They're shutting down Arizona. Yeah. And they're shutting down all the states, you know. So it's back to the point of uh, 200,000 cases, and uh, they're, um, it's rough. So you can't give a time as to when. Yeah, true. You know, but you know what? If you keep yourself busy, keep working your resume, do your thing, you're going to be fine. Cool, appreciate it. Yeah, it's really okay. not too, too bad yet. Yeah, we just started getting... Up and running, so hopefully we don't shut down yet. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I, got it. <laughs> I, I wish not. we all could do something for fun. I mean, my whole thing for fun is swimming. That's about it. And, and Barbara going to the gym, that would be cool, you know. Other than that, we're all good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just started doing my stuff, my can and stuff. I'm doing stuff on my own. You know, girls, girly girl stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Thank you for calling. Cool. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Well, that is the most okay. up call we've had so far. <laughs> <All right. laughs> What's up? Okay. Yes. Our next caller here it is is uh it was a it was a block number, but I screened it. Are you there, caller? It's what? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, wait, 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 wait. What? what? I, Hold on, Johnny. What did you just say? Oh, it was a it was a blocked number, but I screened it. So it's, oh, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. It's, uh, yeah, that's what that means. It just means it oh, it, it, it means okay. you know, this. I don't have an area code. Okay, but be, before I talk to her, can you give out the phone number so people can call in? Sure. The number is five one six five three one. Nine eight seven four. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, hello to the person. Yes. That, yeah. What is your name? Oh, hi. My name is Felicia. I'm sorry. Did you? It's did Felicia. you say Felicia? Felicia. Yes. Can you hear me better now? I changed. It. I got a new phone. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I can hear you. Oh, and where are you calling from? What city? You don't have to be in fact, but what city? Oh, I'm calling from New York. Okay, happy. Um, and I'm glad we get a lot of New Yorkers because um, I've asked Johnny to screen that, you know, in the sense that there's a lot of New York people that want to air what's going on in their city and want to air about the coronavirus. And they've been cooped up, and, and I feel they have the right to talk and express themselves and, and really get it out. And since I'm from Jersey, New York area, I'm just like all for that. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. What can I do for you? Okay. So <clears throat> I'm helping uh, a relative with a legal matter. I'm intuitive myself. And I'm mm-hmm. picking up the energy of a lady named Kim trying to come around, but this I, I whoa, 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 I'm not understanding I, you. I'm not understanding okay. you. You're picking okay. up the energy of, of what? I said, I'm picking up a, an energy of a lady. Of a lady? Yeah. And what is, what can you hear me? Can you hear me clear? I don't know, but Barbara, you're going to have to translate here. I'm not quite getting what she's saying. Okay. okay, she's picking up some energy of a lady. That's all I've gotten so far. Okay, okay. Well, so what type of energy? Again. I think it's, it's a, I am helping a relative with a legal matter. But I'm okay. starting to pick. Okay, why are oh. you picking this up? For what reason? Because, I, well, I'm, I'm actually, I am intuitive myself. Yeah, but I can't help you on your psychic hand with what you're picking up because I don't know. I mean, that's a, like a totally individual thing. It might be someone who's passed on. It might be somebody you know. You can ask for names. You can ask for, you know, 
more information, but it's not me who does that. It's you who does that to the other side. Oh, okay. You have to communicate with the other side and ask them what's going on. Okay, I see. And you, you're capable of doing that, so it, it's it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, was there anything else you needed to know? Um. Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm picking up on a job. Mm-hmm. Um, give me a, yeah, I'm looking for a new job. Okay, the thing is, I think at this company, there are going to be two positions. I want the one that's the most challenging. Hmm. But, yeah, the one that's the most challenging. One is, <laughs> so the one is just very challenging. That's the one that I would need to be in, the one that makes me feel uncomfortable, which is fine. So okay, but, that, most, but you're pick, you said you're picking it up. Are these real availability? Yeah, I'm pretty accurate. No, no, I'm not questioning your ability. I said, are these, I said that wrong. Are these real jobs that you know of right now that, that have positions no, no, available? No, 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 it's in the future. Picking up the energy oh. of the two jobs in the future. No, okay. not right now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, again, I can't, I'd love to be able to comment on your psychic ability and what you're picking up. But, you know, it's out of my realm. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> that's I mean, it's it's like I, I don't doubt you for a moment, but it's just something you're picking up that is for you and you alone. Is, I, okay. Okay. I see. Okay. I, I, I'm understanding. Yes. <laughs> okay, but, you know, you are psychic, so keep picking them up. Write them all down. See what comes mm-hmm. true. See what doesn't come true, and go from there. Okay, that's you know what I'm going to do. That okay, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me go back Thank to Barbara. You. Barbara, hi. <laughs> yes, that was very interesting. I thought uh, she oh, wanted. Oh, okay, yeah. let me get this straight because I wasn't following it in the beginning either. She wanted to have you tell her what she was seeing with. The moment, a woman, no. or or what? No, what? no, 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 no. Okay, how do I explain this? All right, um, there aren't any words to explain it. It's part of my retrograde today. Okay, uh, yeah, that is true. nothing I can do about it except what I'm over, which is show called the hospital and see if my friends okay. I don't know. It, it's just information that she is receiving from where I don't know or, you know, telling her things about jobs, about people, about this, and she's wanting me to confirm it. But I can't because that's her own thing. Okay. Hmm. I mean, that was interesting. The whole, every conversation is different. I want to go back to Johnny. (laughs) Yeah, Johnny. and, And your party. That is yes. concerning to, to me a little bit because you need to, this thing that is going around the world, um, I'm not worried about Barbara getting it. I'm not worried about me getting it. I'm not worried about you getting it or my family. You know, we take precautions. But when you're in a crowded room of people, uh, it's rough, Johnny. You could be asymptomatic. And not know you have it and, and transfer it that way. And that's how it's being transferred. I know. I know. So, I mean, I'm surprised they're doing this big party with every family member. Right. That's what I'm saying. I mean, can you, do you have to go to it? Well, what it's going to be, the number of people that are going to be there is, See here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot. It only takes one. Have and your dad's okay with this? Yeah. 
I thought your dad didn't even want you to walk to the store. That don't make sense, Jenny. Okay, I think he should. We talk about it. I'm not feeling real safe. Do you want to go, Donnie? Do you want to go? Hmm? Yeah. Do you want to go? Yes. Okay, well, then just be careful when you're there and do, don't touch people and wear your mask. Can you do that? And sanitize. Yeah, I mean, if there's, if there's a mask to wear, but, but we do have, like, we wash our hands a lot, so, you know. Yeah, but you still have to put the sanitation stuff on it, too, you know. Well, we do that, yeah. But, we, where we is the party? Don't, ta- don't take it lightly. I mean, come on, you know. I know. Where is How the party are happening? At my sister's. Okay, so that's indoors, which is not good Nothing. because there's a lot of surfaces that people are going to touch. So be careful of the surfaces. Now Barbara and I are both worried for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have <laughs> that, that hand sanitizer readily available for everybody who comes in. Immediately say, please, will you, do you mind going to the restroom and washing with warm soap and water and then coming out and squirting this on your hands, please, you know, just mm-hmm. to protect everybody. Maybe you can make a nice sign on your computer with instructions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Van will be getting after everybody for social distancing, so you both. Okay, good. He's not going to listen, Barbara, no matter what we say. <laughs> Just like when you're flying in a plane, they have the recirculated air. Now they're saying that if the recirculated air connected, if you're sick, you're going to get something. So, you know, I'm wondering what happened to the simple cold and a flu? Like, uh, how do we know when we have that? Oh, I know. I haven't I mean, even gotten sick now, so I don't know. I would think that I would have I it if I got the flu. If I got the flu, I would say, oh, for sure I have it because I just, <laughs> I'm not used to getting the flu. Very rarely. I, I got the flu shot, though, because Johnny said it was a good idea. Well, that's the one thing I didn't get uh, because I never had the flu. But I, know, I did that's get, great. I got, I got the pneumonia shots because I have, you know, my lungs are kind of, um, I always get bronchitis when I was a kid, so my lungs aren't in that great shape. But I don't know. It's just like I wish as a psychic I could see an end to all this, and it just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. And it's scary. I mean, I don't want to be out in a crowd of people. I just That is not my favorite thing to do. I mean, when I go to the grocery market, I'll go late at night or I'll go – when there's not that many people and just get what I need to get and get the heck out of there. I go late at night as well. Yeah, it's kind of, my husband went at 8.30 to Walmart or closes at 8.30 and there was no one there, so, you know. Well, I know. I didn't go at 10. Okay. What? That's not anything. I'm going at 10. Let's see, okay. Okay. So, what do you want me to do, Johnny? Is there someone else, or what's going on? Yeah, there's someone else. Uh, this this is the next person. Uh, caller, you're on the air. Hi, caller. You're on with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Please tell us your name. Hi, my name is Erica. Hi, Erica. Where are you calling from? I am calling from Ohio. Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. And uh, um, hmm? you have a lot. You, yeah, you have a lot. You're echoing now. Are you on speaker? Yeah, I, I apologize for that. I am hearing impaired and on a not so good phone that I put it on oh, speaker, okay. so I turned it down just slightly a bit. Hopefully. Okay. Now I can hear. I can hear you very well, darling. Oh, uh, what can I help you with? Okay, so I'm just basically um, calling to see, you know, hey, what could be coming up for me? There's so much going on, and, you know, everybody, including myself, trying to play catch-up, okay? I get it. 
And, but and this in order so for I me to need to move, I don't know, you know, it's a choice. Where do you move? And I have, I'm dealing with a workers' comp claim and trying to see how that's going to go throughout, okay, well, you know, one moving at forward. One at a time. I can, one, one at a time. Yeah. One at a time. I can only deal with a few things and that's it. You know, I can't give you a full-on reading. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, I'm just... I'm just speaking in general. I'm just saying, okay, okay it's this oh. and it's that. But, hey, what, where do I need to be pairing my focus to the most and preserving my energy so I can get some of those goals and things that I need to get done and still be within the rhythm of what's going on, whether if we have another shutdown or not. You know, because the beat still goes on, Okay. Yeah, you got that right. This isn't a godsend thing. The beat still goes on. Life still goes on in some kind of capacity. I just refuse to be feeling all full of anxiety and locked up like I did the first time, okay? I feel like you got me the first time. You're not going to get me the second time, okay? (laughs) You know what? Um, You never never got me the first time. You didn't get me the second time. Can you hear me? Can she hear me? No, Hello? Uh, she wasn't here yeah, for a minute there. Okay, listen to me, okay? Can you hear me now? Absolutely. Okay. Um, I feel the same way you do about it. Uh, it's not going to get me down. It's not, it hasn't gotten me down. Um, the only thing that has got me down is that I am, I'm like Barbara. I love to travel and go places and do things. Yeah. And that part is very frustrating, that I can't go where I want to go, go back to Hawaii, do what I need to do. I can't do it, and that really is annoying, you know. Uh, the our, uh, You should be concentrating on your workman's comp. Uh, do you have, have an attorney for it? No, I'm thinking about I probably will maybe need to get one. Next month or the following month, if I can go the following month into August and do it successfully, I think I'll be okay. This is my last year in it, so I'm hoping that they'll. Yeah, that's you know, where you need. To, that's where you need to focus. Okay. I'm just telling you, no uh, surprises. No surprises. Everything. You got to hear me back. Everything is going to fall in place, but just take focus on one thing at a time. Period. Just one thing. Well, that's all I can do, but, you know, I'm on someone else's time frame. When the workers on the federal side, I'm on their time frame, you know. They can say, okay, well, we're going to cut you off. You know, hey, I'd like to be prepared before that comes or get an attorney so I can get things that they haven't done that they should have done rolling. And I've had to fix two cars, which those are almost done, and then I can move into the workers' comp thing to possibly move. So, I was trying to figure out what's coming up for me. What do I need to focus a little bit more on? Um, and I'm I'm trying to tell funny. you, but you're not hearing me. I'm trying to tell you. Are you open to hearing me? Oh, I'm hearing you. I heard you say focus on the workers' comp thing. <laughs> okay, but you keep talking, and I can't do my reading if you keep talking. So I want to say focus on that. Money's going to come back in. I don't see you getting cut off. You do need an attorney. You need to focus in on, uh, you know, working comp attorney. That's the only way you're going to get things done. And that's what I see you need to be doing. Good, but bummer. Thank you for being so honest and blunt. Well, I'm trying to be, okay, because you wanted answers, and that's what I'm giving you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, anybody who calls in, hey, it's a take it or leave it thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. so funny. I'll take, you I'll take a, it. I'm a raw chick, honey. I'm a raw one. You should be <laughs> a stand-up comedian. I'll be honest with you. You should be a stand-up comic. You are funny. You are really funny. It is. You have a, I love her. You have a lot to say. You have a lot to do. I'd write a book if I were you. You know, do something, you know, but... uh Get it internet printed. I can tell you, you just have a lot, a lot of good energy. And I think yeah. you can get almost anything you want. What did you say, Lana? Okay. 
Okay, and can I recommend to you, even though you said you like to travel and stuff, do RVN. Yes. RVN, that's do what, what everyone's doing. People, oh, I know. Because I know all about the RV, and the problem is I have a gentleman here that I take care of. He's an RV buff. Every RV spot is taken. Now, you're also dealing with... Um, uh, it's in Nevada. They're selling a hundred RVs a month. Where the heck are all these people going to go? <laughs> I mean, you know, we know enough about RVs to know, you know, unless you're going to go up in the woods and you're not going to be connected to anything, and then there's no air conditioning and it's 95 degree weather. What are you going to do? There's no campsites available. Oh, some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them are putting that money in it. Those who can afford to customize, they'll do it. I mean, there's a will, there's a way. You want to get out and be in the open? I don't know. I can't say. I don't have the money oh, for I, that. I, but. I, I, I would love to do it. I just can't afford to do it to buy one. You know. So, And as I said, 100 of them a month are being sold here. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're selling out. Forty five a week back orders I'm hearing today. I was that's like, wow. right. That's my, right. My cousin but, you know, those sister. Are, those awesome. are people with money because to run an R V, you know, anywhere from twenty to eighty thousand, then there's the gas, then there's the hookup, then you gotta find a place to stay, and then you have to uh, also dump all the waste out of it all the time. I mean, that's not adventurous to me. I'll be honest with you, too. In Tahoe, all the hotels are selling out. Harris, Harvey's, uh, all the hotels, $500 a night. They're all selling out. The Grand Sierra, they're all 3,000 of them. They're all what sold What do they want rooms for? What do they want rooms huh? for? Anything going on in the room? Well, no, you've got the rooms, but you have Lake Tahoe, and they want to go to the lake, or they want, you know, the beauty of the lake, whatever. Go to Yellowstone. That's even better. Grand Teton Park. All right, I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. You have a good one. Thank you. Thanks. She's fun. Uh, Barbara, you want to give an RV? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey, you guys, uh, call uh, in right now. How much time do we have left here on the show? Not very uh, we have much. About, um, we have about, uh, I mean, it's, we go a little longer. I mean, um, uh, I know but, uh, that's the way things are going. I can't because I have to go call the hospital and see how my friend is. Okay. 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 Oh, Dale, um, I didn't know that you wanted me to end. Okay, no problem. I'll close this show. And thank, thank you very much, right. all and of then, you callers, for calling in. Johnny, yes. I'm yes. going to call you. I want Barbara. I keep forgetting your number. Well, I wanted to call you guys back momentarily. Because I need to give Johnny some instructions. So in the show, and then I'm going to call Johnny back. And if you'd hook up with him, I wanted to tell you okay. something. Okay. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. So please okay, do, do visit our. Out. Oh, okay. Okay. Please do visit our YouTube channel, Life, Laughter, Happiness, to hear this show and choose from over 300 other shows that we've done. We invite you to come, and we also say hey. Can you write a review? That'd be awesome. And I've been a little more active on our Life, Laughter, Happiness Facebook. Like today, I sent all that information about the Mercury retrograde. So please read up on that and also visit Dale Shear's site and look at everything she's done. She's an author so much. It's very interesting to peruse her, her website, daleshear.com, to her directly for your personal private reading at 808-372-1816. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and I think that's it. So thank you, thank Dale, you. so much. Uh, yes. Aloha to you, and, and I'll call you oh, back in just a minute. Oh, 
all what? our channel. I'm sorry, we have a Roku channel. I forgot to do the shout out about it. Life, laughter, happiness. If you have Roku, Love you goodness. could learn by watching Life, Laughter, Happiness. We have a new channel, so we're proud of it and excited about all the future things coming with that. All right, so okay. Dale. Dale needs time to take care of some things, and we wish you a good evening, Dale. A very Thank good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Aloha. Thanks, good night, Dale. Aloha. Aloha. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>